three, two, one. Here we go! Hi everyone, welcome to 2021. I hopefully everyone had a happy new year and a happy holidays. Uh, 2020 was just stressful. I think that whole year was just insane. We're not gonna dwell too much on that. I just hope that everything goes well this year and hopefully that everyone is doing well or getting better with everything. I know that everything has just gotten super insane. Uh, 2020 was not, not a fun year um, to say the least. I mean, it was just crazy, but this is not a group cap, but I've always wanted to do this. And this is a what's in my camera bag, 2021 edition. Let's get into it. I want to go down the list of just everything that I have accumulated throughout the years of doing photography and videography. And thankfully to my family and my girlfriend who have also helped me, you know, invest into some of my gear forever in your debt. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, let's just go down the list and see what I got in my camera bag. Okay, so the first thing on my list is something that I bought with my first entry level DSLR camera. And this is the 24 270 L f4 canon lens this is probably my favorite lens the 24 to 70 is probably the most common and i'm pretty sure any photographer or videographer will probably recommend this because you, you can get a good amount of you know you want the wide shots and then you also want the nice close-ups and the cool thing about this one is that it has a macro setting so i can just flip the switch and hit some macro which is really cool as you can see on that lens. And this is really cool because I've actually shot product shots with this, which is awesome. This is the, yeah, I guess the cheaper version. I think the first edition of the 24 to 70, there's also the 2.8 version of this. And of course you have the more expensive RF lenses that just came out with Canon's mirrorless lineup. So uh, you can still pick this up for I think 700, 800, which is not that bad. You know what, it, like honestly, you need to be investing in lenses uh, rather than your body. The reason is because, you know, glasses or lenses is glasses what you can call in filmmaking term um if you're not investing in your lenses it this is something that's super crucial and i think that i will break down in another video definitely invest in your lenses it will go a long way all right so the second thing on my list is boom we have the you know what i i just bought something that was super cheap this came in a two-pack these are called the Han, hanski hanskai this is a sd card Holder, and you definitely need to be stacking up on your SD cards and you need a case that will protect them in case you drop it, you know, you lose it, whatever. It's gonna be sturdy. So I don't know if this is waterproof. I should have checked that. I should have got the Pelican one. That's okay, these were like 10 bucks for two. So you know what, screw it. And the cool thing about this one is, is that it also comes with a small indent of the mini SD cards that you can put in the same slot as your regular SD card. So really cool. Fortunately, you can't have anything bigger. So like a CF card or anything that will not fit in here. But if you're just doing photography or just, you know, using a DSLR, which a lot of people are, you can pick these up for really cheap. Um, I'll put the links down in the description. These are like 10 to 13 bucks, I think for two. And they're pretty nice and they're sleek, you know, nice little case. Yeah. So the third thing on my list, which is I've just been investing into is like I finally been getting and that has been uh, lens filters. Wait, let's see. If... Lens filters. Oh, God. We can see all of my filters that you cannot really see. <laughs> I recently have been investing into the Tiffin Black Promis and I, I am actually using the Cine Bloom from Moment. Recently invested in also into variable ND filter. Yes, we need one. You definitely need one. If you're gonna be shooting outdoors at all, I'm pretty sure you've heard Peter McKinnon talk about it. You probably already know this, but yes. And if you don't, then you need an ND filter. Trust me, if you're shooting outdoors, you're gonna need this. This will save your life. Like ND filter is like basically the sunglasses for your lens. I mean, come on. You wanna protect your eyes, you wanna protect your lens. So there you go, bing bada boom. So I've been investing into step up rings and step down rings because you don't wanna be buying multiple filters for your different size lenses, all the threads are different sizes, especially if, in, if you have a 50, if you have 24 to 70 millimeter, that, that's a huge, huge difference. It's a huge jump. So you can get these for cheap. You can get them from newer. You can get them from KF. Is it KF or KNF? I think it's KNF. And I'm pretty sure Tiffin makes them too. I, 
I don't know that for sure. I'm pretty newer or any of the, the smaller brands on Amazon. Again, I'll be linking everything in the description so you guys will know where to buy all this, you know, if, you, if you'd like to. So, and I also got this, I picked up this case for like 10 bucks, 20 bucks. So yeah, it's a nice little simple case. And thankfully it protects my filters, which is what I need. So, and if it's pretty easily in my camera bag. All right, so the next thing on my list, which is a fun thing, kind of a fun thing, is my AirPod Pros. Yeah, because you never know when you want to be listening to a podcast, you want to be listening to music while you're waiting for a photo shoot client or you're scouting location or you're trying to listen to music at the same time as you're doing B-roll, which is another good thing you should be doing. I will probably, I, you know, I have so many video ideas this year. But yeah, I always take this with me just in case if I'm waiting on a photo shoot or the, the model's running late, I'm, I always carry this with me and they're really comfy and it's super slim. Like, come on, look how, look how tiny this is. You actually, you know what? That's not a good thing because you can also lose these really easily, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Moving on. This is something that I actually got for Christmas, which is, thank you Santa. Actually, this is my girlfriend. My girlfriend bought this for me. This is the Cinco wireless lav mic system. So basically, it kind of compares to the Rode Video Mic Go, is what it's called, I think. That one's really nice too, but I am actually wearing it right now. And it's a small, it's cool. It's really small and really portable. These are really tiny. So this is the transmitter and then the receiver is right on the camera. So I'm gonna test these out soon and I'm just gonna see how they are. Again, I just got these, so <laughs> I'm just testing it out for this video. They sound Sound pretty good from when, when I was testing through the headphones, so I'll just see how it is through the edit. So we shall see. But let's move on to the next item. So the Crown Data Crown, this is the first video that I did with it, but my 35 millimeter film camera is the next thing on my gear list. I love this so much. I'm so glad I picked it up for what I got for. I got this for a hundred bucks. Like this whole thing. Honestly, I feel like this is mint condition. I have a little there's little scratches on here, but in the in 2020, I just invested into one film camera. You know, you always want to be versatile in photography. So I wanted to get something that I've never tried before. And this is obviously a new system in SLR. This is fully mechanical, might I add. And um, it does, but it does take batteries. But anyways, I wanted to really, you know, test my photography skills and like, see if I can really do this. And I, it, this is so much fun. Like, but like film is so cool. And I wish I was at the point where I was maybe a few years ago where cameras, where the film cameras are not as expensive as now. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into medium format, which is something I want to get into probably later this year. So I'm going to definitely, this is another goal of mine. I'm super glad that I picked this up for what I got because now these are selling for like 200 plus. So I am very grateful for that. Moving on. So the next thing on my list is my Canon 6D, which is what I normally use for my photography and this has been everywhere with me honestly uh this was the first like this is what got me into portraiture and just like getting my first like entry level camera and this um i, I first started on a, a t2i with the kit lens the 18 to 55 and i finally upgraded to one of these and fell in love this is still a great camera honestly if you're looking for it they have the mark ii you could get the mark ii but this is the mark one this was this has been shot so many times i have taken this everywhere with me it's got like scratches on the bottom and everything. I mean, I, I've used this, I've used the wheel so many times like to just scroll through all my photos. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Mainly for photos, I wasn't too keen on the video side for this, but definitely if you want to get into, you know, YouTube or anything, I would totally recommend getting the 60 Mark II because that also has the flip out screen. That is something that I got really jealous of when I bought this. I was like, Ugh, you know, when you just buy something and then the better version comes out and then you're just like, why, you know, why does this happen to me? So all in all, this was a solid camera and I still recommend this. I don't use it as much anymore because now I have the R, which is the next thing on my list. So the Canon EOS R is the next gear on my list. I just bought this last year. I was really skeptical because I was going between switching fully to another camera system was Sony. And I was thinking about getting the a7 III, which, which my friends kept recommending to me. I was also looking at the Panasonic GH5 and the S1H. I just went down and just got the EOS R because I have Canon glass and I, I, I have a bunch of it. So I was thinking why switch to a different system when I might as well just try out the EOS R. And I wanted to make sure that I got something, you know, for video specifically, I kept hearing great things about the EOS R besides the hiccups of the 4K and a lot of the, the sidebar, why the sidebar? The sidebar, I never use it. I don't know why Canon, Canon, why? Why, why, why? 
All right, besides all of the hiccups, this was a great investment. I honestly, if you're just looking for something super simple for your videos, I honestly, if you want to vlog and make it look great, pick up the Canon EOS R. It's obviously dropped in price because the R5 and the R6 have come out. The C70 has also come out. There, God, last year was just so many great cameras. Anyways, besides the point, I just decided to invest into the EOS R and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Besides all the hiccups that it has and the little quirks that I had to get used to, it's still a solid camera. I think it got a little overhated for what it was, but everyone is to each their own. So it is what it is. All right, so the next gear on my list is a shotgun mic that I also got for Christmas. Thank you, my girlfriend. This is DOT's V-Mic D3 mic, shotgun condenser mic. I've been needing one of these because I am going to soon be vlogging when everything is okay and I, I feel more comfortable outside, you know? I, I'm, I'm getting used to it, guys. I, let me just let me just do stuff in my room and then I'll start vlogging outside. No, but seriously, when I go traveling and I need like nice crisp sound, this is a great little budget-friendly video mic for your videos and you're wanting to capture crisp sound. I think, I'm pretty sure DOT is like another great sound brand. I still, again, guys, like di just disclaimer real quick, just real quick. I have not tested this out yet. It sounds great though. I just, I plugged it in. Like when I, when I first got this, I plugged it in and I was like listening and I'm like, all right, I can mess with it. It, it looks great too. Look at this little r yellow wire. That's cool. I like the scheme of them. Like I like their branding. I know everyone gets the Rode VideoMic Pro, but you know what? That's fine. I'm gonna go a different route. All right, moving down the list. Now we've got my next item, which mainly for photographers, if you also wanna use it for video shoots, totally okay. This really helps for mainly the photographers out there who need some extra light and don't wanna bring a light source or, you know, one of, like I've always recommended, which is the, the Pixel G1S and you don't wanna bring those. So this is the Andor Small reflector this is gonna save you in photo shoots so much because it is so portable like i can put this is so tiny i can put it in my bag look how big this is it's not even that big oh my gosh this is really not that big and it's super portable it comes with a silver reflector in on the top you can also unzip this part and it also has a diffusion inside you can take this whole sheet off you also have a nice white reflector and a golden reflector so this is a nice like all-in-one like portable reflector that is not heavy and not super big but it's cool because it got like these handles and it's super easy because you can hold this at the same time say you don't have a an assistant you know on your photo shoots you can just hold this and shoot at the same time i've done this trust me it work. it's a nice workout too it, it'll work trust me and it's super easy and super compact this is something you can definitely fit in your bag look this is this is small this is something you can definitely fit in your camera bag I highly recommend this, super underrated. Especially if you're shooting outside and you want nice reflective on your model, on you, whatever it may be, this will help you. On your product, bam, you got it. I mean, you don't need to buy like a Pixel G1S like I said in the last video, link is up here. I mean, come on, you know, you can just buy this. Super simple, again, links are all in the description. Let's move on to the next item. Next items on my list are Cinestill. Cinestill. I just got these for Christmas. <laughs> I feel like this is a Christmas list. God damn it. I got this for Christmas. Thank you, Sheila. You know who you are. I can't wait to shoot these. I'm gonna show the Instagram posts that you can see on Cinestill. These look like cinema grade quality film stills, which is really cool. I cannot wait. So this is, you can get the 800T, which is something you can shoot um, for low light photography or you can also do the daylight, which is super cool, the 50D. So I cannot wait to shoot with these. Uh, I'm probably gonna make a video on that too as well. Links are in the description for that. They're a really cool gift, especially if you wanna get it for your friend, for your, the birthday, Valentine's Day, maybe, you never know. If she likes film or he likes film, links are in the description. All right, so last but not least on my camera gear inventory list, whatever you may call it. The last thing is the Pixel G1S, which is also a review I just did. You can click the link in the description, shameless plug. This is a great video light that you can use for your video shoots, for your photo shoots, your mini YouTube studios, whatever it may be. It's actually doing my side profile light right now. This is a cool and budget friendly video light that you can get for around $70. Uh, you can also catch, if there's a deal on it, go and get it. There's always flash deals on Pixels. They're a great video light brand. I think that is something that is kind of overlooked because I feel like there's always those bigger name brands like Aperture, obviously. Great video lights, trust me, there's great video lights. But there's still 
I think people overestimate the benefits of getting a budget-friendly lights or you know even mics, whatever it may be. This is a great video light source that will help your videos look great. And it's pretty bright. It comes out with a nice little retractable arm. It's really cool. I still yet have yet to put this in the field and I'm actually gonna be using this on a photo shoot pretty soon. This is a awesome portable video light for your videos, for your photo shoots, whatever it may be for budget friendly costs and it won't hurt the bank too much. So hopefully you guys had a wonderful 2021. Thank you for watching. If you've made it to the end of the video, go ahead and comment what your maybe small goal, it could be a big goal, what your goal is for 2021 this year. I think one of my goals is to just create more videos. Um, that's what I've been wanting to do and I tested this out in 2020, just made a couple videos like I did, as you can see on my channel but I'm definitely gonna be pumping out more videos and I'm gonna try to do it weekly now. That is my goal for 2021 and hopefully I can just pump out as many videos as I can and humanly possibly can. If you guys like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you didn't, go ahead and dislike it. It's totally okay. I don't mind constructive criticism. And if you want to, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, it only takes one click, you know, one click click. And again, if you guys wanted to check out any of the gear, it is all listed below in the links. And again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.